Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ilyas and this is your 30 second tutorial. I hope you guys like, like the previous tutorials where we wrote our first lines of jQuery code to work with Ajax. And so far we, we, have, uh, we have the descriptions for the images outputted in the console and this is not what we want to have. So we want this text uh, pieces of text to be displayed just right under every picture right here so that every image has its unique unique description. Alright, uh, before we do that of course we need to create a container for this text. So uh, make sure you go to your HTML document and find this frame and if you don't know what frame is, the frame is this, this frame pretty much, this white square. So you open the frame and then just under this image tag you create a new div element and I'll just call it a description and inside of this div element I'll create a paragraph element like p element and so now we are all set with the HTML and we can proceed with JavaScript great uh, instead of getting this data outputted in the console we want, we want this data to be outputted in this description and uh, inside of, the, of this description we have a paragraph so let's just go ahead and select the description like I teach you guys in the first tutorials and then just go ahead and select the P element of it and I hope you remember this HTML function of jQuery that um, allows you to edit HTML contents of, of every element so in this case we just uh, paste this data which comes from the server to the inner HTML of this P element and we can get rid of this console output just delete it. Yep. So now we are done with the script <coughs> with the script part of it and we can proceed to the CSS. So the reason why we need to style it I'll show you real quick. If I open this I see that uh, the Description div is transparent and it uh, and it's not centered, so it, it's just not styled and, and it looks crappy. And um, this is something what we want to change. So let's just go ahead to our CSS document and create some new rules. And the first rule is uh, I'll select this description element and I'll set it background color to be white because. Uh, Every element to create in HTML, and you don't, and you don't set set its color, it is uh, uh, transparent by default. So now, when I open this, I see that th this element is not not transparent anymore, and we uh, just need to center it. So we just need to uh, adjust this distance between the edge and the text, and for that. I created a paragraph element inside this div element so we'll just select this paragraph element p element and um, you remember guys that this frame this frames edge border is exactly 20 pixels and so we want to add the same margin left to this p element of 20 pixels and now the text should be centered and now it is and we also probably need to add some padding to this div element so that the text is not just right on the edge of the frame. So we can just go ahead to the description and say padding bottom and I'll just say 10 pixels. Yeah, but now it looks better. So we have the text description uh, under the picture styled and we have all this um, borders and um, Depending on how high how high the picture is, we have a variable height of the frame, and so it's just a perfect frame. And depending on how much text we have, we would have also a variable height of the frame. So if you have like several lines of uh, text right here, it will uh, automatically expand your frame to the bottom. So. Uh, now we are done with this tutorial and in the next one we are going to create some cool features like filters and I have to figure out where we will have our filters either on the left side or on the top and what I mean by filters 
we'll have different different types of images and we'll split them into like groups like architecture or nature, people, cities or something else and then we'll be able to filter the pictures depending on this on its on their uh, category so uh, that's it for now I hope you guys like this tutorial and uh, make sure you program by yourself and you, you practice on your own because it is one of the keys to the success so uh, I hope you guys had fun and I'll see you in the next tutorial have a nice